Hello, good morning. This is your Dizzy D to Adam Tilted, and it is Wednesday, January 10th, 2018. Thanks for stopping by. This morning has been kind of one issue after another. So I'm actually not going to talk about what I was originally going to talk about today. I will save that story for another day. Oh, I'm going to talk today about feeling overwhelmed. But first, I want to show you something that is going to happen tomorrow morning. That's pretty cool. This is the pre-dawn sky looking towards the east from Houston, Texas. Um, this is at 4.42 a.m. And you'll see that uh, the moon and Jupiter and Mars are very close together in the sky. And they're also close to Vesta. Vesta is an asteroid. And it was actually visited by a spacecraft called Dawn. And we learned a lot about asteroids from studying Vesta. But this pairing of the moon, Jupiter, and Mars um, before the sun comes up tomorrow morning, that should be a really pretty sight. And if you stick around, I'm going to put time in forward motion here, you will see Mercury and Saturn appearing just above the horizon at 6.13 a.m. And then very shortly after that, the sun will rise. So you have a very short window of opportunity to look for Mercury and Saturn. And then Venus is actually in superior conjunction with the sun, which means that it is on the opposite side of the sun from us. So we won't be able to see Venus because the sun is in the way. So if you have a chance to go look at that, um, take a look. Uh, we've had cloud cover, cloud cover, cloud cover forever, and I haven't been able to see this grouping of um, solar system objects. It's been disappointing. But let me know if you see them, because I, I want to live vicariously through you. And maybe we'll get lucky and the cloud cover will lift. Jupiter and Mars will be hanging out close to each other for a little while. They're going to start moving further and further apart from this point, but they'll still be close together in the sky for several weeks. I want to talk about feeling overwhelmed. Uh, I've had so much going on, and I have a lot of projects that I've been trying to get off the ground since last year, and I've been struggling. I've been having a lot of health issues that have been slowing me down and getting in the way, and that has been frustrating. But I'm still plugging along. This morning, I kind of had a little meltdown because I was trying to get on here, do a Facebook Live. I'm trying to do videos every day if I can, at least three times a week. I just kind of wasn't feeling it today, but I wanted to do it anyway. Well, I just started trying to do it over and over again, and I got overwhelmed because when things start going wrong, and then another thing starts going wrong, and then another thing starts going wrong. It just like snowballs. You've had those days, right? That's been my morning. And what is it? 11 o'clock. So <laughs> I've got some ways to go to make it through today. So here's what I do when I face that situation is I try to take one thing at a time. And when you're overwhelmed, that can be difficult because you feel like you've got all these things looming over you. But if you try to do them all at once or more than one at a time, you're more than likely to just increase your frustration and make it harder for you to complete your project. So I am really trying this year to focus on one thing at a time rather than trying to multitask, which doesn't work. Okay, it doesn't work. If you're multitasking, that means you're really not paying attention to anything you're doing. You're doing everything kind of halfway. It's better, in my opinion, to do a few things top notch than do a lot of things half assed. That's my mantra 
And that's what I'm going to do. So that's how I made it online today because I just took it one step at a time. First thing I did was I looked at what I wanted to talk about. And what I was originally going to talk about was about a, a scary story from my childhood. But the computer was messing with me and irritating me. And I didn't think I was in the right mindset to have that discussion about that scary thing because I was already kind of... So I took a deep breath and I examined my topic and I thought, why don't I just talk about this feeling that I'm having right now because that will hopefully make me feel better and maybe it'll help you feel better too. So I changed the topic. I will talk about that other story, but just not right now. All right, that's it for me right now. And until we meet again, don't forget to look up.